Oh, welcome back, Lazarus here. Another video. Today I really wanted to do a like a Lord Nelson pre-dreadnought, but uh, here I'll just to give you a quick thing. So this will be just a. Uh, it is a pre-dreadnought I'm going to do today. Uh, expand the. Expand it out. Give it a main tower, secondary tower, and the main guns. Uh, Lord Nelson had 12 inch center line, four. And then it had 10 inch guns, I believe, or was it nine? Uh, it wouldn't do it with 10 inch, so. Whoops. Wing side guns. I'll try 9 inch, see if it didn't work with 10 inch. Bang, bang. Yeah. <clears throat> You've reached the maximum number. You can't fit that one in there. So, because I still want to make a, a dreadnought very similar to this, so I'm going to use 8 inch. Put them right there. And go like that and voila it'll say one has poor arc of fire engine efficiency let's do a some dual funnels there there we go oh it's only 30 percent oh wait a second let's increase that and that 84%. Well, let's get rid of that one. And. Nope, that won't work. And give it a big funnel. There we go. <laughs> no, let's go a bit different today. Get casements. Uh, get some 3 inch guns on there. No. There we go go like that and of course no we, we, we need torpedo tubes because what uh, what ship of this era didn't have torpedo tubes uh, one thing I saw you no know, a lot of people like the Harvey for I think it's the Harvey armor for uh, when they do missions for the uh, for cost yeah but uh, I don't have to worry about cost with this one. But uh, give it give it some protection here. I'll go ahead and set two. I'm thinking about this one. I'm not sure about the white powder. I'll go with that. Got to speed this up. 18 inch torpedo tubes and I need a range finder I'm gonna go with gun aiming speed over the uh, long range long range gun accuracy and I still have some tonnage to play with Add this type of stuff on up. And getting close. Don't think I can. Nope, can't do that one. And there we go. See how this. Uh, <clears throat> this one fares here. No. I didn't actually look up all the uh, information for the Lord Nelson, uh, which is why I'm just kind of winging it right there. Because uh, when I realized I couldn't do the turrets right there, uh, kind of disappointing. Vengeance? Meh. Can go with that name. It's not Lord Nelson or Agamemnon. Agamem Aga Agamemnon, golly, 
tongue twister for me most days. I want to say agonin. No, I want to go nin nin nin. That's not right. When I start uh, trying to say it fast. I'm trying to think, isn't that a Greek? Greek? From Greek mythology? Agamemnon? Hmm. Can't remember. <clears throat> I'm already getting shot at and I don't see the enemy. Which is very typical. Let's see, I'm turning that way, so chances are this guy's going that way. Because that seems to be what the computer... Oh, we're going the same way. Hmm. Got one of those French ones, the uh, Hotel at War thing. Just a warship, let's see. Let's, what are we doing? Oh. I've hit it. Woohoo. Got some penetration damage. Really hasn't hit me yet, so that's good news. Oh, well, we're actually really well, only nine, eight kilometers now. Oh, no, that's even two. Wow. The uh, distance between the two is incredible. Oh, let's see. There's a torpedo right there, and it should miss. And right, now let's go down and get that speed bonus there. Let's see, it's got, oh, it's only got 9 inch guns. It's 49%, 74, I do have better armor in terms of percentage. His is a bit thicker. 12 versus 9. I definitely outgun him. It all is a matter of who hits more and who hits with damage. Both sides have done torpedoes. And they're about to end. Yeah, it just fired one. And because of that, I'm going to make a U-turn here. Make a turn. Get it out. For all the hits and stuff, mm, haven't really done any big damage yet. See what happens. This could be a mistake with that torpedo coming. Oh, I did a torpedo hit. How about that? Let's see, what does the computer have me doing? Pretty much like that, right there's a torpedo out there. Yeah, that's pretty much, I think, going to miss us. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, that was a good maneuver to do. Meanwhile, he's uh, taking some damage. Being hit. No, both engines out for him. Now. Oh, oh, eight inch hits. The 12 inch guns. You know. The hardest part with the pre-dreadnoughts is those main guns just... No, they're slow and inaccurate and not very many. And so it seems to take forever for any hits. Now I, I look at it and... You, you, you really do start wondering what took them so long... <coughs> to put more main guns on the hull... Instead of four. I mean, it, it just seems 
Seems un unreal that they went only four main guns for so long. No, there's another torpedo. Mm, shoot. Well. No, don't. Don't do that. There was no reason to turn. It was going to miss. Let's go back up to 30. This thing ever gonna turn? Do I do unless it were oh, too far away to really see? I did fire a torpedo back, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna see about closing the distance here. I'll see if I can get my uh, accuracy up a bit more. got an engine now and all that other type of stuff. I should be wanting to try and close the distance and just pound the living crap out of him with my 12 and 8 inch guns. Yep. Oh, there goes the torpedo. I'm going to try making a turn here. Let's see. That does anything here. And right there goes the torpedo. Got to do it, evasive maneuvering. Got to practice that. Oh, there's some more hits. Not not very big, but he is flooding. So, no, well, he was flooding. Get on in close. No, let's see. Am I going over here? Yeah, just side torpedoes. And he is really hurting. Sinking now. <laughs> oh, there's a torpedo. Yeah, that probably would have hit me. But I already won. It's one of those uh, World of Warships notes. After you sink, hit, well, kind of an interesting, almost Lord Nelson-esque type ship. Close as I could kind of get it, so I'm not going to call it Lord, Lord Nelson because it needed the heavier gun, but, eh, hope you enjoyed it, had fun, and see you next video.